All right guys, welcome back. So as I promised, this is part two of a 10 millimeter loadout and how heavy is too heavy. I've got my Springfield XDM Elite 3.8 inch and 10 millimeter. I'm currently using Fort Scott Tumble Upon Impact 125 grain. I like the velocity on these things. It's just under 1500 feet per second consistently. And I like the Tumble Upon Impact nature of these rounds so that's what I've been carrying. I've got a 15 round mag in the sidecar here. I forget what crossbreed holsters calls it. I just I think of it as sidecar because the T-Rex arms. But I've got 15 rounds in this mag and then I've got 11 plus one so I've got 12 rounds in the firearm and I've just noticed this gotten really heavy. So in this video, we're gonna nerd out a little bit and compare some of the weights of a standard loadout. I've got my XDM here. I've got fully loaded Glock 43X, which is what I've been carrying when I'm not carrying the 10 millimeter, when I need to be a lot more covert. And then I've got an additional 15 round mag here with the mag extension, which brings it to, I think it's about 18 rounds. I'll have to double check on that real quick. All right, so it actually comes out to 20 rounds. I forgot that, I've got 20 plus one. I used this in a few competitions this winter. That's why I had this extended mag, but it's the shield and then I've got the Terran Tactical base plate. So with this, I'm carrying a total of 35 rounds uh, in the 43X of nine millimeter. My load currently, just because uh, it was readily available, was the Barnes uh, TAC XP in 115 grain. So it's a fast, fast, quick little round here. But let's go ahead and just compare the difference in weight between the nine millimeter and the 10 millimeter round alone. All right, so we got four tenths of an ounce for the nine millimeter. And for the 10 millimeter, I've got five tenths of an ounce. Just out of curiosity, I've got some Buffalo Bore 220 grain hard cast here. And let's see what the difference between the 125 grain and the 220 hard cast is. All right, so two tenths of an ounce heavier per round. And since I've got this here, let's just go ahead and throw Underwood Extreme Penetrator 140 grain on and see what the difference is with this. So it splits the difference, six tenths of an ounce. So you've got five tenths of an ounce, six tenths of an ounce, seven tenths of an ounce with these three loads. So let's go ahead and put the Springfield on and see what that loadout is. All right, so we got 35.7 ounces for the Springfield with the 11 plus one. So that's not too bad. Compare that with a loaded 43X with the 115 grains and the 15 round shield mag. So I've got 25.3. So I've got a full 10 ounces lighter than the Springfield. And of course I don't have a red dot or a light, but that's a significant difference already, 10 ounce difference. All right, so let's throw on fully loaded spare mags and see what the difference is. All right, 10 millimeter, got 11.3. And let's throw on the extra mag of 20. That's 10.8 ounces. So that's not too big of a difference. You've got 15 of 10 and then 20 of nine. And it's pretty close, 11.3 to 10.8 ounces. Let's go ahead and throw the whole load out on now. So full weight with the appendix rig with the married extra mag is 55.6 ounces. And if I added the light that I was wanting to run, it'd be 58.1 ounces total. By contrast, my Glock 43X with the minimalist holster, 36.9 ounces, and that's with 35 rounds of nine millimeter. 
So 36.9 to 55.6, perhaps a couple ounces, three ounces, four ounces more for a holster, a Kydex holster, but still you're looking at a good, say 15 ounces lighter. And then adding in the light, if I wanted to run a light, um, you're looking at 39.4. Add in an optic to that weight and you're looking at about 45. So you're pushing right around 13 to 15 ounces lighter with 35 rounds of nine versus 28 rounds of 10 and almost 60 ounces of weight. And just for fun, I'll take off the minimalist holster. And again, all firearms are loaded in this video for purposes of weight. And I'll just throw on a Kydex holster I have for a different Glock. So then we're looking at 41.3 ounces. So I'm thinking my estimate of about 44 to 45 is pretty close. So 13 to 15 ounce difference, 35 rounds of 10. So the interesting part of this discussion, I think, is not the total loadout, but the difference in the initial weights between 12 rounds of 10 in this platform and 16 rounds of 9 millimeter in this platform. You're looking at about a 10 ounce difference between the two just straight off the bat. So let me know what you think. Do you think carrying 10 millimeter and adding 10 extra ounces is worth it? I know some of you said I should skip the spare mag and just go straight to carrying the 10 with 12 rounds. For me, I'm just not comfortable with that. I just like the added insurance and peace of mind that comes with having an extra mag, a backup mag. I just don't really ever carry without a backup mag or a backup speed loader, depending on what I'm carrying. Or would you rather have four extra rounds of nine millimeter in this setup with 15 plus one with the shield arms mag and have 16 rounds of nine millimeter at your disposal versus 12, sacrificing 10 ounces in weight. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you found this helpful and let me know kind of what your loadout is and what you think the total weight that you wouldn't be willing to go beyond. So for the sake of this discussion, I'm talking about in the waistband carry. I'm not talking about chest rig. Uh, we all know that you can carry a lot of weight in a chest rig very comfortably or even a shoulder holster. I had one commenter say that I should put this in a shoulder holster. I do have a shoulder holster set up for Glock 20 and Glock 29. Uh, I just have not found that for me that's very comfortable or feasible in everyday carry. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to my Patreon, my Spreadshop, my Amazon storefront. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in terms of loadout for weight and decision on carrying this this summer and how to do that. LW Road, out.